Hello, this is Bob Manger. The inspiration for this video came to me from a book called Buddhism Plain and Simple by Steve Hagen. Essentially, the premise of this video is for you to ask yourself a question, and in a moment, you will see a picture on the screen and then ask yourself the question. So here's the picture now. Focus on the picture and imagine that you are in nature and you're seeing this for real. Now ask yourself, who or what could be responsible for such beautiful colors and patterns? Now here's the thing. Just meditate on the beauty of the question itself and don't rush to jump to an answer. It will be tempting for the ego mind to jump in there and say, Oh, oh, I know the answer. It's God. God made those colors and patterns. Or the ego will jump in there and say, It's Mother Nature. She's the one responsible. Or the ego might say, It's intelligent design. Or my favorite, the scientific ego mind, which jumps in there being all smart and saying, Well, in the fall, there's not enough light or water for photosynthesis and the green chlorophyll disappears and reveals the colors that were already there. What I am trying to show you here is a difference between entering the flow of unknowingness and the beauty of the mystery and not the stoppage of the ego. Here's what I mean. Okay, here's the picture again. Relax into the image, contemplate, and with innocence, ask, who or what could be responsible for such beautiful colors and patterns? If you stay in the question alone and just keep asking the question without trying to arrive at an answer, you will feel your energy flowing. And the moment you give yourself an answer to the question, you will feel a sudden stop in that energy. The point is, that a beautiful life energy flows in the mysterious and unknown, and that energy will carry you to a place in your consciousness where you rarely go. Children see the world in this way all the time, for their curious and childlike mind keeps them in their innocence, love, and beauty for life. Here's something you can practice. When you are in nature, pretend you are seeing everything and anything for the first time. If you pick up a stone, for example, pretend you have no idea what you're holding in your hand. If you see a flower, pretend you're seeing it for the first time. And do not give it a name like a rose or carnation. If you're holding a leaf in your hand, pretend you're holding it for the first time. Pretend you have no idea what it is. And as you do this enough, you will realize something sacred and magical will start to happen to you. A loving energy will start to pour into your experience like never before. Thank you.